Today I'm cooking hamburgers on my tabletop grill. I'll show you how I do it. It works for me. The charcoal tray is in the highest position, so we'll get the hottest temperature. I'll be using Ember's charcoal. I have Ember's on hand because I did a series of video on charcoal. And Ember's pretty much finished in last place when it comes to burn time. But since I'm grilling hamburgers, burn time's just not as critical. It's not my first choice, but it's good enough for grilling. I've upgraded my factory grates to grill grates. Now the flat side of the grill grates works best for hamburgers. The grill grates allow for hotter temperatures on the grating surface. You can see that the cooking surface is close to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I have some 80-20 beef patties, and yes, I think the 80-20 is a very good option for hamburgers. Spread the patties out on the grill, season to your taste. I use salt and pepper. You can season on one side, or if you prefer, on both sides. Using my gloved hand and a hamburger press, I'll give the patties a smash and hold that for several seconds to get a good sear. Now this is where the grill grates shine. They eliminate almost all the flare-ups. Now you may have some flames trying to sneak around the edge of the grates, but the patties are protected. Close the lid until the burger is saturated with juices on top. Flip and cook the other side with the lid closed. Now like smash burgers, you only flip once. Keep in mind that with this setup, the patties are gonna cook very, very quickly. Using a good instant read thermometer like a thermopin, cook until each patty's at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit. To toast the buns, I'll lower the charcoal tray near the lowest setting. Now leave the lid open while cooking the buns because they cook quick. Give the buns a spray with I can't believe it's not butter and toast for a few seconds on each side. Now if you sauteed the mushrooms, cooked the bacon, and sliced up the veggies, then you can build that perfect burger. Enjoy! You can find the cooking instructions in the description area of Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue at YouTube. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs> Ha 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 ha